Well, hello from Nimes, France. I was lucky enough to be invited for dinner to my um, home exchange host's home. But even better, she turned me on to this a citywide garage sale that they had in the downtown area. So that was so much fun. I can't wait to show you the footage and of course the hall at the end. And we'll do some sightseeing in between. The railway system within France and actually within Europe is simply phenomenal. And you can get from one city to another far-flung city in just a matter of hours and in total comfort. center of Nimes and I'm up early and it's going to be a gorgeous day. It's much hotter in the south of France than it is in Paris and I'm heading off to find this antique flea market that my home exchange uh, host turned me onto that's right in the middle of town so I get to do some sightseeing and I get a shop for treasures so it's going to be fun. One of Nîmes' many charms is this amazing first century Roman temple that was actually in use for much of its history. It is extremely well preserved and very lovely. This guy was a professional reseller, but honestly, if I could go back, I probably would have bought more items from him. He had some really cool like puzzles and toys, and I'm actually really into those items. And although they don't sell that well in my store, I think they would do amazing online.
this lady wanted i think 45 euros for i five or six of these linen camises and honestly i regret not picking them up but i don't regret not picking up that copper set which is so tempting but could you imagine how heavy that would be So interesting, I just recently picked up one of these portable easels that was made in Italy right here in Washington State. After being in France and going to all of these different flea markets, I started to realize that a lot of Americans bring home pieces of art, which I then find at thrift stores and garage sales because all of that art looked very familiar. Even the French can be cheesy. That would be incredible if only I could find that at home. We have to see how narrow this entrance to the street is to the house. Oh my gosh, it makes me so nervous. We're doing it. We're doing it. All these little winding roads and the houses on these big lots and they're all up on this hillside. And la prochaine à droite. Ensuite, vous vous approchez de votre destination with these beautiful trees. You almost feel like you're in the country. I'm gonna park right here. I'm in a tidy little village going to a, a town-wide garage sale. So this should be really interesting. What an adventure. home I would have snapped those up in a hot second but I was really trying to stick to my made in France only rule but man looking at them now I'm just like that is so good I just found this little town so fascinating i was just so thrilled to be there and just to see people like living their french lives Again, those wood boxes, <laughs> I would have just bought all of those had they been at home, but they're not particularly French.
only 20 kilometers from Nimes. Uzi's is a wonderful day trip. It's a charming little town with plenty of monuments to see, but it also has a really lively center area where they have a regular market full of local products and produce. And it's just a perfect little getaway. I'm heading off to Point de Garde, which is a very ancient Roman aqueduct that is still standing to this day, but it also happens to be a really popular place on the river to go and hang out and cool off and go swimming. So I'm looking forward to that. Sometimes it's good to get off the beaten path. I was hungry and I decided to just keep going until I found a little town. And look how beautiful. It's so gorgeous here and it's really quiet. And this is the wonderful thing about France is if you keep going, you will find little towns where there's not that many tourists. Sorry, I gotta be a tourist here. in the middle of a city but that's exactly what this is and then I heard from my home exchange hosts that they actually have bullfights here twice a year and they have a big festival called the Feria which just happened in June Good morning. It's a Tuesday and today we're going to head to a little seaside village that my host family told me about. They said it's very quaint, great seafood, beautiful views. It's about an hour away so we're going to hit the road. First I'm going to stop by the boulangerie and get, uh, I don't know, a croissant maybe. I made some coffee to go and uh, then we're going to hit the road. So it should be a fun day. I noticed that there was a boat tour for nine euros, so I hopped on it. It was okay, but you know what was even better? Was the little cheese and charcuterie plate that they made me because they were out of sandwiches. I was really digging these modernistic uh, resorts that looked like they were straight out of the 60s.
I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I explored memes in the town of Uzis and of course wandering off the beaten path into that little town. I have no idea what the name is. Um, and if you are new here, my name is Abigail and I own a vintage and antique store in Polsbo, Washington. I have two antique booths in Seattle, Washington. I also sell on all of the major platforms and I post every single day on Instagram. So make sure you follow along there. I didn't see as much religious iconography here as I did in Paris, but I did pick up this beautiful cross. Obviously, this is a Catholic cross because it has a little fountain for um, blessed water, but it's got this beautiful brass Jesus. And I think that says, I'm not sure what that says there, but I love this little holder for the holy water. And then this is the back of it. I absolutely had to grab this, even though it's not in the best of shape, but it is a Boy Scout beret. It is so cool. And at first I thought maybe it had made its way here from the States, but you see, this is like a Red Cross flag. And then this says Denmark, but I absolutely love it because it has all these little pins on it. All these little badges. So it is so cool. If somebody could figure out how to just you know, switch out this leather part of it, you could actually still use it. But I think it is just the most amazing thing. And I can't figure out again, if this is a French uh, beret, Boy Scout beret, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking it is. I think it is French, except that, you know, it has like be prepared in English, but then I also noticed like the stop signs are in English. It says stop, just like at home. So anyways, super cool, very unusual. So you get the cap with all of the emblems on it and then all these little badges and pins really an amazing piece of history. I love this next piece, this beautiful brass frame. It has a picture of a little French girl and a little French boy. It looks like probably from the 30s, maybe the 40s. And of course you could take that out and put whatever you want in here. But this is a really old piece. Look, it has a little stand to it but I think it is just gorgeous. I love this whimsical bird. He's a cloisonne bird. And at first I was just gonna buy him just like this, but come to find out he has this little stand. So he goes just like that. I just have to glue him back on, but he is very fanciful, very cool. He's an old one for sure. And look, he's got his little claw. I've never seen anything like this. So I absolutely had to grab him. I hope I don't regret continuing to buy these, but I could not resist. Look how absolutely gorgeous this linen she is. It's this the gorgeous French linen that we all love back in the States with this amazing monogram that says what? MB, I think it's, I think it's MB, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And again, you could turn this into clothes, you can make curtains out of these. You can make pillows out of these. You could keep it as a bed sheet. They're supposed to be really wonderful as an actual sheet, but it is beautiful. It is heavy, let me tell you that. So it is a heavy piece of linen, but honestly, 
if I could just have one suitcase just of these, I would be thrilled. I have a thing for antique toys. I actually have a huge collection of antique toys myself. I just don't have any place to display them. And so I kept seeing these lotto boxes and I just love the graphics on them. They are so cool, very cool. Probably, I don't know what, for maybe like the 20s, the 30s, maybe the 40s. And what's awesome about this one is it has this pile of balls that goes with it. That you could do something just, just with these. So there, there are these little wood balls with numbers on them. So this was, I think Lotto was really the equivalent of like our bingo. Because these kind of look like bingo cards, right? So you get this big bag of these little balls with the numbers on them which are so cool i wish i was more creative because i see the little things like this and i'm like man i know you could make something really amazing with them i just don't know what or you could just display them in a bowl i cannot resist i have to tell you that i've seen racks and racks of clothes at these flea markets and they are so beautiful there are some really beautiful pieces of clothing and all the women just flock to those racks but i am really trying to stay away from clothes because they take up a ton of space but <clears throat> i have picked up some beautiful scarves Look at this one. It is gorgeous. It's hand rolled silk and it says Placer de la Chaise, which I have no idea what that means. But anyways, it's just this beautiful French scarf that would be absolutely wonderful around your neck or what I like to do with these in the store is actually, um, I kind of wrap them around the handles of purses. They look so pretty that way, or you could wear it in your hair. Anyways, absolutely gorgeous. I also have this one that has these beautiful crowns on it and these swords and some kind of emblem like a coat of arms. Very, very pretty. I love this one because it literally says Paris on it, but it's this more of a modernist design. Just really pretty black and white in just a fabulous condition. It does have some little thing right here, but it's very minor, more like dust. But again, this is a hand rolled scarf, which means it's really good quality. So just amazing. And I also love this one that's marked Galay. And this is kind of got this fringy end on it also hand rolled is it hand rolled yeah it looks like it is it's hard to tell anyways this is a long skinny scarf and again this would be beautiful in your hair tied around a purse around your neck i love this design so i only grabbed the very best and i thought this was one of them I'm really hoping these make it back. And I like them because I love anything to do with advertising or cool fonts. And so this fit the bill, but I grabbed a bunch of ashtrays and these are all like uh, novelty ashtrays from liquor companies. And this one says, Cousinier Ambassador. So I'm not quite sure what that is, but it is so cool. It looks like an orange on the inside. So maybe it was for orange liqueur. It has a firing from a kiln, right? So that's not a defect afterwards. It's during the firing. So just to let you know that. And then on the back, it does have a mark and it says long champ. Anyways, super cool. I also grabbed this one that says Noali. 
Pratt, a Noili Cassis. So definitely a novelty item from a liquor company and it's in this milk glass. So it's just, I just love these because these are so French. So super cool. I love this one because of the color. I love that bright yellow. And this is definitely a liqueur because it says liqueur digestif. So an infusions pages. So just this beautiful, it's still like kind of a milk glass texture to it or a milk glass kind of a material, but in yellow. Very cool. Next up are some emblems, car emblems, Fiat ones. And surprisingly, you know, at home, I don't know. I don't know what I would pay at home. I mean, to me, they don't look like they're worth more than 50 cents, but I'm not a car buff and I actually did pay up for these, but it's because I love the graphics on them. So whoever buys these, they're gonna get both of them um, as a set. I got this crocodile case that was used to put cigarettes in. So it's a cigarette case. That almost looks like silver, but it's probably like pewter maybe. But very cool in amazing shape. What a great gift for a guy. I thought this next one was the sweetest thing. It's this tiny little book. And at first I thought it was a Bible and I think it has something to do with religion because there's a lot of beautiful illustrations and there's all these little cards throughout here, which I'm gonna leave with the book, but it almost looks like it's a storybook. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so sweet. And this one, the Madonna. So yeah, there's all these little cards, this little baby Jesus, but it looks like it's like a storybook maybe. Maybe it was for a child, but it's this beautiful leather bound book. And then here's the little box that I bought it in and that's just gonna protect it but it is the sweetest thing. When I saw these, I had to grab them. They have no use whatsoever, except that they're the most decorative things, but there are these pile of parrots. So there's three, there's six, there's seven parrots, and they have their little um, claws um, down here. So you actually set it like on top of a rim of a glass or a rim of something as just little decorative pieces. And I thought they were just the cutest things ever. And they are old, look at them. They are definitely old, pink and blue. And they are just the funnest things, I love them. And they rattle. So I drove way out of my way, um, even though it was late in the day because there was some uh, town garage sales advertised, but I had spent so much time in memes um, and I found some great stuff, so I don't regret it. But all the other sales were closing down because it gets really warm here. So people wanna be done early in the afternoon, but I actually did buy something from each of those um, garage sales I went to, even though there was hardly anybody there. I found these beautiful, beautiful like butter knives. And these were made locally in Uzi's, um, which you saw on the video, cause they are marked right on the knives. This one also, they also have these like monograms on them. So they're absolutely, gorgeous, so beautiful. And there are three, six, nine, there's 12 knives all together in this beautiful case, but these are just absolutely stunningly gorgeous.
Wouldn't it be beautiful to have these for a special occasion, for Thanksgiving, or even for Sunday dinner every Sunday? Because you should use your things when they're beautiful like this instead of keeping them locked away. So anyways, gorgeous. I got this beautiful soap dish in this blue pattern. Is that not just the most beautiful thing? And look, even the mark is gorgeous on it. So, so pretty. I do have to disclose though, and I didn't notice till afterwards that there is like a crack somewhere in here, but you can't hardly see it. And it is just, just the most gorgeous thing. I love it. The other religious item I got, and I'm hoping to find more of these, are these amazing beads. So I think this was, these were like prayer beads, and they're made of carved wood. And this one has a little metal at the bottom. It has a little heart like right in the middle. And they're very, very big. And um, I saw several sets and I wish I would have grabbed more, but I'm hoping that in the next town I can find some more of these because I absolutely love them. Because even if you're not religious, these would make an amazing piece of decor. I have three different rosaries. I have this one which you cannot tell, I don't think, but these are, this is also like the carved wood beads. I have this one, these white beads with this cross at the end. And I have this one, which is so sweet, it's pink. So it's got these pink rosary beads and a little cross, so sweet. Oh, and I have another one that's got white beads. This is great too, these dice. Look how cool these are. They are so old that they are faded with use, but I absolutely love them and they would not negotiate. Honestly, I didn't find people very negotiable, negotiable in memes, but it could be because it was early in the day and people don't like to negotiate that early and I don't blame them. But there's five of there's five of these and then it has the little box and it even has instructions on how to play the game. Last but not least, at the one sale where there was only one person left in the parking lot, I got this absolutely gorgeous, like I think they use these as like slips or house dresses it's there it's the same kind of linen for the sheets it's absolutely stunning the work on this is just perfection beautiful and it's somebody actually embroidered their initials right there but it is on the longer side, so you could actually wear this as a dress. It is just really pretty, honestly. I love it. So I am so happy that you joined me for this wonderful adventure. If you get a chance to get out to do some thrifting, I certainly hope the thrifting gods are with you and you find some fabulous stuff. And otherwise, I will see you next week when I'll still be in France.